We live from Monte Cassino, and I promised you earlier on that I've got a legend who is in the building. Yaya Torres, yeah, man. I'm talking everything. I'm talking La Liga. I'm talking World Cup. I'm talking African football. I'm talking Premier League. I'm talking Champions League, man. I'm talking that Yaya Torres is in the building with me. Brother, how are you doing? Yeah, really good. Very pleased to be there. Thank you to invite me today. Awesome stuff. How long have you been in, in, in SA for? Ooh, for a few days, eh? Yeah. If you get some... Something for me, okay. I can say maybe longer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and we've been we've been nice to you so far. It's been good for you. Yeah, no, frankly, frankly, uh, to be honest, you know, it always uh, is an honor. No, no, uh, no, it's a pleasure to be there. You know, in the continent, yeah. you know, because always being around around the uh, the people from my continent, you know, is always a uh, always pleased. You know, and yeah. uh, I, I receive a, a nice warm welcome, and uh, yeah, I'm very pleased. That's amazing, amazing stuff. Obviously, uh, we're talking all things uh, EFA Champions League. We're talking yeah. about uh, the final today. We're talking an amazing experience that Heineken is, is giving the people. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's part of the reason why you're here. But one yep. of the things that I really want to touch on before we go to that is sort of this, this great message that Heineken uh, is pushing right now of, um, mm -hmm. you know, um, so, so, sort of fighting uh, gender bias yeah. right, in, the, in the sport, yeah? Yeah. Uh, which, which obviously affect both players and, 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 and the, the, the people who love the, the, the yeah. sport, right? Yeah. Um, how is it for you to be part of something so positive and, and that it can affect change? <laughs> yeah, f I think I think it's always good. You know what I mean. Just when you try to to combine your image with uh, some some of attractive stuff, so actually we not create it, but I think that one is a uh, uh, you know is the brand or create that. I think to be part of it is always please you know because and happiness as well because you don't know because for such a long time you know the women have been put in a part of it. I think in, in terms of fans, men and women are, have to be allowed to be yeah. to be together on the stadium. That's not a problem at all. But actually, if during these past years, been happening a lot. But now, I think this 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 uh, this this uh, this um, what uh, any can try to do. I think is something amazing, you know. And uh, I totally agree with it, you know, because for for a long time I've been the personal view. Uh, long time. If you have uh, my sister, I have to come to one of my other game in Africa or in different part around the world. Yeah. It's always looking differently, you know. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. to be able to be, you know, and, and, and something is gonna is try to be, to be happening is really, really important, and positive, you know, for the rest because woman without without men is different. But men without woman is is a pure pure problem, you know. When yeah. the woman be part of it, is always good. Awesome stuff, and one of the things that because words matter is one of the things I really love. Uh, it's 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 the, hein the the saying that hein Heineken has, you know, cheers to all fans, yeah. men, men included. You yeah. Know, what does what does that mean for you? No, it means a lot. Do you, that's why I, in the beginning I said to you, like, uh, I'm very pleased to be part of it. You know what I mean? Because uh, ideally, something really really important is something moving forward for the games, for the beauty of the games, and when uh, both sex, you know, different sex are part of it, are uh, included. It's always nice things, and me have been part of it. I think is is something I'm really, really delighted to be honest. Do Do you think um, from from where you you were playing to now and the development work that you're doing around mm -hmm. the world, and 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 um, you you consume a lot of football from around the world? Yeah. W w do you think we're making sort of the right strides as, as as Africans to close the gap with the rest of the world? And football wise, I think we try. We yeah. we've been <laughs> we've been we've been you know we don't, uh, if you get it to the point that the they see that the people who make the decision they've been trying to to move forward with it by just communicate it yeah. but i think in the reality the act is not made it yet you know yeah because uh is a is for me is a shame and sometimes is is be a pity when, you know when people they understand that they realize that but they don't affect people with it just try to implement that on and that's the real problem with it because yeah. you can see people always talking about that but at the end of the day they're talking about something's gonna happen in six months, but <laughs> when they're talking about after six months you're waiting for it, you don't see nothing, you know. Yeah. Because in Africa, was that thing we have to do it because we have the talent. Yes, definitely we have it. But how we gonna support them? How we can support them? How we can put them in the in the right and the right and uh, the right and uh, right things to for them to express themselves yeah. the best ways possible, you know. And I think me, I got that chance because I got that chance from someone who trusted me. Believe in me and give me the opportunity and give all the support I needed to to succeed. And it's one time I see some of my uh, my little brothers just ask me for how I how they can do to how succeed. They can get there, yeah. As I because I really understand that the pain, the difficulty, and to be alone to, to try to to resolve the situation is quite complicated. And mm. I think uh, the the leader have the big part of it. They understand it really because 
when I have chat with some of them, they understand it. The real problem, what is it? Sometimes they touch it by the wo by the by the toe, but to make it happen <laughs> is something different. Yeah. So if you just join us, uh, we are in conversation with Yaya Tore. The legendary Yaya Tore is uh, <laughs> in the building. In fact, before you guys got Thank here, I, I've asked all the guys that you found in my, my production team here. Yeah. None of them are either uh, Liverpool <laughs> or Real Madrid, right? One is Arsenal. Uh, as you can see, there's an Arsenal one. <laughs> <over there. laughs> this one here is Man United over here. Yeah. Um, so so i got to ask you, Yaya Tore, where, where's your heart? What is your prediction for... For later tonight? Well, to be honest, uh, uh, I, have a, I, have a, I, have a, I have a sympathy, I have a friendship with some of the Liverpool players, you know. Yeah. Uh, Sadio Mane, Salah, Boazo, people know us as I'm a big fan of Klopp, the coach, you know. He's a, he's a, I think he's a fantastic coach. Yeah. Very nice to, 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 to talk with and very nice to sit and share some meal with it. But uh, this game today is going to be very, very tough, you know. True. Because I'm the one who hates to predict stuff, you know. But at the end of the day, people want to see how you see the game. All the games going to come in. Of course, being top players doesn't mean you know everything, you know what I mean? Because this Real Madrid team is, to be honest, scary, you know. Yeah. What they did to City in Chelsea and <laughs> Paris Saint-Germain, you know. <laughs> yeah. No one will predict that, you know. Yeah. And no one believe what is w what we see, you know. But even me, I don't believe it still. But the fact that is, I think Liverpool got the chance. They got the chance, you know. They because chance, Madrid, yeah. I, I see them defensively be weak. Offensively, okay, they will score hundred percent. But uh, with m if you want to, if you want to win against Liverpool, you have to be strong defensively because yeah. this team is they are a threat everywhere from the midfielder, from the defender. And uh, when you get back to the defense as well, you see Liverpool a little bit more stronger. When you compare all the teams they've been Madrid have been facing, and offensively they more they more like deep they more fast they can you know they can adjust the game just sure. change the game you know what i mean dictate it or respecting you by leaving you the balls but after that you have to be careful in your space in the back true true quite diplomatic he has not said but <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> it was quite a month Li well, they were in liverpool liverpool, liverpool, right? liverpool. Well, still liverpool win, yeah. awesome stuff awesome stuff that's uh, yeah yeah Tore, ladies and gentlemen all right so um We'll catch up with you later on, man. So Heineken is throwing this this exclusive VIP, I'm talking, Champions yeah. League experience, like a viewing experience. Yeah. In fact, last week on this show, we gave away some exclusive passes to some of our listeners who, yeah. will, who will be chilling with uh, that good. later on as well. So we'll, we'll check you up uh, later on. Well, of course, I'll be there. They yeah. have to have the VIP pass and come in to see me. 100%. We, we see, but it's going to be dark, but... <laughs> We're going to find the light to make a picture. Because we'll me too, uh, <laughs> I need the light. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find the light to, to take the pictures, yeah? Yeah, uh, Tura, thank you so much, brother. You're yeah, welcome, you brother. Gentleman. Welcome. Um, welcome my friend. Massive, massive thanks for, for coming through. You're such a legend. Uh, and then and, and you mean a lot to, to a lot of young thank African you, thank stars you, as well. Thank you, Thank you, It was a pleasure.